uh, record of photos um the, the original replay um the one which was played with the nd that, that's the one we're talking about uh because i checked the wiki and like um there's other versions as well um uh, because um a record of Lodos went on to become the basis for uh, another RPG uh, called Sword World. Um, and so basically the, the, the game master rewrote, um, rewrote the, the replay. And, and, and I think that they also even got um, the original uh, the players to basically play the same game uh, over again, um, which which we see here. Um, so we have talked about the the anime before on this channel, um, and that's how I found out about this as well. Um, so this this doesn't actually cover the events in the anime. Um, I, I think it 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 uh, that the anime starts where this replay ends basically um because um i i remember the vis the wizard uh which uh which they go to meet at the start and and they also de defeat uh a dragon at the start and i also rem remember the trap um in in the in the dungeon where they just fall through um the floor uh, and 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 the ring uh, and Ka Carlos. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think that's true. The the the, the ring, Carlos ring, is also there in um in the anime. And uh, I I think I think now we know what happened to to Chuck, right? He uh he basically got um <laughs> yeah uh, possessed by Carla essentially. I, I I don't know if I, maybe it was clear in the anime as well that that's what happened. Um. Yeah. 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 I mean, it, the, the like possession is only like is only uh, revealed at the end um of this like campaign replay. Um. Yeah. I. I think um like so, as usual, right? Like a lot of stuff gets like rearranged, and changed, and stuff gets added. You know, f f for the adaptation. Um. In a replay, like the the. Whole gang is just there um, together from the start, whereas in the anime, you know, um, de not to not to deal it, it's it's um, palm, I think. Yeah. <laughs> like, w and, what and about? Like, gets attacked. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, also, palm is sort of treated like an idiot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um. Yeah. Um, obviously, um, the players are new to D and D, and uh, the whole format of the thing is that um, so the, the fan translator, I think, uh, explains it, and that's that's also short introduction. That what they tr were trying to do with this um, replay is to try to introduce um, D and D to uh, Japan. Um, and whatnot. So, uh, I I think probably probably some of the players were new. Uh, some some of them did seem to know uh, the game as well. Yeah, um, yeah, they did. They did. I I love like the like tension that uh, develops uh, between uh, uh, the the like magic user and the DM, <laughs> and it's um, I just thought that was kind of funny. Uh, I was like, uh, I was wondering, like, what like the equivalents would be um, in in our game. You know, obviously, a bio would be would be the DM. Um, I think like like um, Heraclius would be like the closest guy to slain. Um, I think <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, like there are, when like when you're reading through it, right? Um, you can't help but like think about like um, the similarities and differences between like this campaign and like um, and the ones you've been um, been a part of, right? Um, yeah. 
and there's also questions by um, there's also questions by people who are playing D and D, and the questions are not so much about the story, but about how to play D and D. Like um, because uh, this wasn't released uh, as uh, one whole um, book; it was released um, chapter by chapter, so to speak, in, in yeah. magazines. So people yeah. could ask uh, questions, and they would ask questions about uh, what what to do. Um, basically um yeah yeah there's some yeah. Like, there's some like funny entries as well and like some like really weird entries like like a, my my dm like says like a uh, like a dwarf can't, can't use a battle axe <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not quite sure why they thought that but uh it was kind of like like that was kind of funny um yeah. or, like, I, I, I... this like this like other player is like eyeing me up um in game <laughs> And like I'm, I'm like uncomfortable. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I think it's, um, it's quite good, um, for like tips, for like, for like DM tips. You know, how to like, how to like, um, let let the game play out, or like what freedoms you should give players, or like what you know, what's what's like the best thing to do in situations, you know. Um, as the as the DM, um, I, I think it's pretty good for that. I, th- I think there's a lot of good tips. You know. Yeah, like obviously, like it doesn't feel like they they uh, they were playing this with with the idea that it would get any any big audi- audience or anything that it would be no, a big thing no. like that. It's funny because it didn't really did like how, um, how many people voted on the uh, or like who's like your favorite character i think it was like less than like 200 people voted in that in that poll and like those are like the i don't know like the fans um like the like original fans of the actual replay um so yeah, yeah like it wasn't it wasn't I, I, for like a very big audience i i think uh did lit got 44 votes and that was the highest yeah she uh, did she won I, by quite a margin um yeah i think i think she is the strongest character though um in terms of like her design um the like, the kind of seem a little bit um, generic, um, but I think I don't know. I mean, uh, okay. I mean, like, firstly, she's like the, she's the only girl in a party, quote unquote. Uh, that's that's an interesting uh, <laughs> interesting uh, area. Um, but uh, I don't know. Like, there's like there's something about like how they drew her that that works like really well for some reason. I'm not quite sure what it is. It might be like the um, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, uh, the art, yeah, the, that's art, um, which I believe is uh, drawn by uh, w- w- one of the people there. I can't remember. They don't say uh, the names of the players or the maybe no. they say that the name of 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 the DM, but not not the players. But I believe I believe that the art. Um, is drawn by one of the players. In any case, it, it looks kind kind of uh, amateurish, but still get get the job done. Um, yeah, and it's good. It's yeah. good. Art. It's good. Art. Um, also, like <laughs> also, the, the, there is there is like fast service as well. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course. Uh, it's yeah. I think there's nudity as well. At least one case of it. Um, uh, yeah, and uh, so I think pretty early on, um, maybe it was the DM. Uh, yeah, yeah, because there's comments by the DM in brackets, um, usually. Um, and the, I think it was the DM who said that, like, oh, it's pretty weird. I think when Deidre was introduced, that it's pre- pretty weird when, like, uh, a, a, a male is playing a female character. And uh, but but like there there weren't any romantic scenes, so it didn't really no. bother me. No. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm kind of wondering because like later on in in the anime, right? There's like there is like a a, a romantic relationship between uh, Deedlit and uh, Pan, right? I wonder, I wonder how that like played out in the campaign if it, if it played yeah. out at all. Yeah, it would it would be kind of weird. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. 
th- yeah, there's more of this stuff, but I don't think it has gotten translated. And I, I and I'm not sure whether like the stuff which came later on just came out because this got popular. Um, basically. Um, what else there to say? Um. Who was um who um who, yeah, um, who was your favorite character? If you um if you were in the like if you lived in the eighties um and you were able to vote on the poll, who who would you vote for? Uh, let me think. Uh, probably the the, uh, the most interesting or the, the funniest was uh, Chuck, uh, the thief. Um, yeah. Uh, but he, yeah, in terms of character character design, though, uh, it's deadly. Of course. Um, yeah. What What about you? Um, I quite I I quite like um for like a moment I quite like um, I quite like um, Ito. Um, but I was like I'll just have to say Slain. Um, I quite you know, may like mainly because I uh, you play the magic. magic <laughs> um. Yeah. So it's like oh oh gee he's he's like literally me. <laughs> Uh, I see. Though, uh, yeah, yeah. And also, also like, I, fa- I found, like, the, uh, like, the intention between, like, the guy who played Slain uh, and the DM to be kind of funny as well. Um... <laughs> was was there a lot of it? I mean, I, I remember uh, that Deedlitz uh, player was able to guess a couple of things um, yeah, as well. Yeah. Like, like, I, know, I, but I, I did, uh, yeah. For 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 some reason, like the D the the DM didn't mind uh, that player like figuring out the plot, but um, he called like he um, he called like slain like um, the nemesis of the like, DM in like at the start of like one of the uh, um, chapters for some reason. I'm quite, I, I'm not quite sure why. Maybe maybe it was just like how they were like behaving. I don't know, I think, yeah, I think it's because um, like. Uh, at the start of every, um, I, what do you say, magazine um, entry or whatever what it's called, um, like a chapter, I guess, um, you get like um, a short theme, of, like uh, there's the, yeah. the, the, photogra- the portraits of the characters and then a small description. Um, and in one of them, which I think I've obviously written by the DM, um as well uh yeah pan is sometimes described as an idiot but um uh, the magic user uh slain uh, is described as basically what do you call it a, a power play or something um or something like that somebody who tries to guess uh like a mean match i don't know if, if i can't remember now but something yeah like but that. yeah yeah i uh <laughs> but uh, like uh, sometimes he's kind of like passive aggressive as well. It's like uh, <laughs> he makes sure to memorize all the spells, <laughs> because, <laughs> and he's just thinking, oh yeah, like there was there was a time where, uh, well, I mean, like because um, that play like always like gets like like particular spell that was being used in like particular moments. <laughs> it was like. So funny because like oh man she uh, she transferred like she transformed from a rock into like herself it, um she must have used a uh, polymorph self like, okay <laughs> but it was like it was it was like so um it, it it wasn't even like worth actually um saying it's it's like one of those situations where it's like knowing the like t- technical term is like is it really it's worth really it because it's like time. it's it's kind of obvious what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but the DM is pissed off because it's yeah like, yeah um, yeah because he he's like he's like know it all. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So uh, let's let's see the descriptions for Slayer a little bit. So so in the last one, he's described as magic user. His person, his his even personality transcends all circumstances. Uh, so it wasn't that one. Yeah, yeah, that that, that, um, that was all right. That was all right. Yeah, uh, yeah. Also, uh, by the way, do you still have to? Um, when you play the, ma- the magic user in DLD fifth edition edition, did you have to 
memorize the spells or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you you would quote unquote memorize spells at the start of the day, um, and then and then and then you forget them. Um, but that 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 doesn't that doesn't apply to cantraps. You you can use can you, you can use cantraps as much as you want, but some spells you forget, so you only get one use, um, per spell. Mm. Uh, and then and then and then they uh, reset um, after you rest, basically. Yeah. Um, also, the I think this this was before uh, um, these these magazines got uh, manga and anime like illustrations. So, like uh, because of that, there's just uh, uh, like. The covers for for the magazines are yeah, are just brands of women. <laughs> yeah, random Japanese women. Uh, yeah. Um. Okay. So when did this come out? Back in nineteen eighty seven. Yeah. Yeah. It was. Um, uh, it came out from like nineteen eighty six to nineteen eighty seven, and in like December, I think it started. Or a bit, or a bit earlier. I can't remember. Okay. Uh, yeah, and it's D and D basic, uh, and it's for rules. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, uh, and another telling thing is that in in the introduction, um, he introduces um. Uh, yeah, and his name, by the way, is uh, Hitoshi Yasuda. Okay, and he introduces. He starts by introducing D and D by uh, comparing them to RPG to P to PC games, um, RPG uh, PC games, um, because of back then um, in in Japan, unlike in the West, um, they got video games before uh, tabletop RPGs. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Which we which is kind of odd, <laughs> but. Uh... And, they... and uh, if you look at uh, Sword World, the the other RPG, which is based on this setting, um, well, well, only I think only the first edition is based on this setting. Um, the second edition is a, is a different, a new setting. Uh, uh, it, it, like it's like it's like an uh, a, a JRPG, basically like um, like you have like something called like a battle map and you have the the characters they can either be um in front or at the back um so it's sort of like yeah it's sort of like an a grpg like you you, you take turns um and and all that um yeah and i i did read i haven't i haven't played uh sword world but i i did read um a replay based on Sword World, which is also available online. And another another fan translated thing because uh, just just like um, this yeah. replay, um, it's never going to be officially released <laughs> in in the West because um, because it's basically the end the end the. Um, because D&D already exists, so they probably wouldn't make a profit or something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, interesting, like, I'm um, speaking just on this topic, um, they've made, like, um, a surprising, like, amount of video games um, based off of uh, Lodos War, um, and some of like, very recent. So, um, th- they made a an MMORPG <laughs> in uh, 2016 called Record of Lodos War Online, right, and... I think support has ended. It, it ended in like 2020, so that's like three years ago. Um, yeah, mm. which is kind of interesting. It was like a free-to-play game. Um, it it looks kind of bad, uh, but but like like um, most recently, they made one like just about D-Lit, which is like a Metroid Vania yeah. kind of thing, right? Um, it looks pretty good, I've seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From from the reviews, I um. The worst I hear is like it was quite like linear, you know. 
it felt like you were just going through the story. That's kind of it. It wasn't really much um, exploration. But um, I mean, that's that's fine. That that that's kind of how the old Metroidvania games played anyway. So um, it kind of looks interesting, though. Um, I wouldn't like pay fifty pound for it. But uh, anyway. Yeah, I'm. I'm just uh, trying to see what what this uh, what the the online game looks like. Um, it, 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 was it just a two D game? Uh, no, it was. It was like a, like, well, it was. I mean, like a folks three D, like isometric. You know, um, a bit. I feel like RuneScape, <laughs> but uh, like thinking like how it came out in twenty sixteen, it looks very dated. Um, <laughs> I see. Uh, and it apparently had a. It, it was 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 it, was it available in English? I think it was available in English as well. Um, yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> they, they, basically they they have milked this uh, for all for all that is worth. Uh, they have milked this story for all that is worth at this point. <laughs> um, it's very like yeah. um, it's very um, interesting though because. Like so much has came from this like simple campaign, you know. So many drip out of like necessity, you know, for like the uh, release. So I think I think that's that's kind of cool in a way. Um, it shows like how like versatile and D and D is as like a storytelling tool. You know? Yeah, I think it it also popularized um, replays. Uh, so I we haven't explained what a replay is, but but basically it's a transcript of a um, of a D and D session um, or campaign. So so basically, like uh, and but but I guess um, uh, but rather than the, like it, so it's written like like a script, um, like a like you know, like with the name and then the, the the dialogue, whatever the players are saying. But instead of using uh, the player characters, they will usually uh, use the the name the name of the character. So even if it's if, even if the player says something out of character, um, basically as as a player, uh, not as a player, but you know about the game. It will still be there as if um, a character, like as his character said it. Um, but other than that, it's just a transcript. Um, that's yeah. As we said, there's some art, uh, but it's not like uh, the, the whole a transcript of the whole session. Obviously, they've cut out. A lot of things, and uh, they they just summarize things uh, as well. A lot of a lot of the time, yeah, especially well, in the in the right where they don't tell you about every single enemy encounter. Because yeah, I mean, there wouldn't there wouldn't be much points. I mean, <laughs> in this in this dungeon, they thought you know, um, like three skeletons in this room, and in this room, they thought two like them dead. Um, it would yeah, it would it would have been kind of like. A waste of everyone's time. Yeah. I, I think uh, the funny, funny thing though was the was the uh, the, the interactions. Like they all, they all just happen off screen. Yeah. Uh, character died, and at the end of um, one session, this character died, and you think that he's dead, but then, well, actually, he was revived. Uh, <laughs> I, I guess they, they couldn't be bothered to. Um, roll up some new characters, and m- maybe that, maybe that would have been too dark as well. Maybe for what they were going for here. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, like it's not, it's not that serious. Um, yeah, even like even, even when yeah. they kill them, um, even when they uh, defeat some um, NPCs, like those NPCs don't die, right? Because um, Carla like, um, talks about um, like resurrecting them, doesn't, doesn't she? Um. Sort of at at the end, so yeah. I mean, like, not, yeah, I did. not many people die um, in in a whole campaign. Interestingly, I think the only people who die are, are the ones that call out the, the knights uh, that go to uh, to try to rescue the prin- the princess yeah. uh, from uh, yeah and uh, yeah and one of the knights um, gets saved by the party, but then gets vaporized or something. 
Yeah, uh, he, get, he gets uh, like fireball or something. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. Um. I did, I don't know. Like um. Like there, there wasn't a big reveal or anything big uh, happening. Um. Really. Um. Did you pay that much that much attention to the um, to the character sheets at all when you were reading? Or, like, didn't you care um, about that? Not really. Um, I kind of found it interesting how some characters had different like XP, you know, with like um, um, sort of like um, how much X, XP it takes to level up. So like the, the like magic users leveled up slower, and the cleric also levels up slower, but levels up faster later on. Um, that was kind of interesting. So at different points, characters will be at different levels, though it didn't really affect anything in like the actual story. Um, yeah. Um, oh, w- one tip uh, that uh, uh, other DM could have taken from this is uh, not to spend so much time on uh, wilderness encounters. Um, but well, in, in this case, like they had, they had a, a reason um, because uh, back in uh, in basic. And that's what D&D apparently, like, characters could die pretty easily at low levels. So you couldn't, um, like, uh, the DM says that because of that, he, he usually just, uh, in, when the, the characters were going on a journey to a dungeon or something, they, they would just get down, uh, and usually. Yeah, yeah. And not, you that would be... <laughs> Yeah, you don't, um, if, like, characters are getting, are getting killed off too quickly, or, you know, if, um, like, someone is, like, running a good character, it's probably a bad idea to kill them off, because, uh, because it's, like, that's, like, that's not really, like, a lot of fun, um, sometimes it's better just to maybe, like, gain things a bit, you know, maybe, like, um, fortify certain results, and, uh, you know, I, make, yeah, I mean, make sure certain the, outcomes happen and others don't. When it when it comes to who uh, dies, D- yeah, <laughs> the DM says, says it as well, right? That like um, um, that's the, 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 that is why um the, the the dungeon master um has to keep um um like the the results of his rolls hidden so that he can <laughs> he can touch touch them essentially. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Which you can't. I guess it, you can't do that when you're doing it on, when you're playing online now, though. Well, uh, I guess I guess you I, could. I guess. Um, like um, I got, I got, I, I, I have, I, I have some real dice. Um, yeah. With me, yeah. and I, and I could just like roll those. Um, yeah. I didn't like. I would, I wouldn't have to use the dice bot, but like, he guys would have to like trust me, you know. And if I make things go a certain way, like maybe he like stop trusting me after yeah. a point, you know, if if things yeah. go like a certain way for too long, <laughs> uh, the players ca- can't fudge though. Um, and uh, I guess an- another thing in common with uh, with the campaign which we played, which I thought um, was when uh, so each of the sessions, I think one player was in charge of um, um, having to draw the map. Uh, and yeah, I think, uh, I think every player draws like their own map, like their, their own version of a map or something. Which which, which I thought was yeah. like um, a, a kind of like a like quite quite a good concept. Um, I would like, I would think like um, I would quite like place to draw their own maps. Like um, if like I made them like a dungeon, because you know just just just, yeah. just because I think um. Yeah, it has like a layer of like yeah. investigation, you know, to, like to the game. You can sort of see where where you've been in things, like, um, mm. and and you don't have to like constantly like describe to people where things are all the time. Yeah, I mean, when I was reading this, like, I basically had no idea. Like, um, to the credit, they do include like include like uh, uh, the maps uh, which the, the DM made. I didn't really care that much to like like uh, keep on going back to them to. To figure out where they were <laughs> um, at certain points. Um, obviously, I'm not playing the game, but but, but I, I guess it's it's still use it would have been useful, I guess, to someone who wants to see how to make a map or something or something like that. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah but, 
but, but uh, I was thinking of um, when, uh, you know, one place, because I think the other place, I think in this game, um, um, it's only one player that, that um, draws the map each session, but it's a different player. And um, mm. uh, while, while he's drawing it, the others ask him, uh, like, uh, that they are doing the map and he's doing yeah. Yeah, and I'm, I'm doing it. It's it's perfect. Uh, but then the DM looks at looks at it, and it's and it's all wrong. Um, yeah, because uh, back that yeah. that that was the that was the DM's f- f- final victory over Slane. <laughs> uh, was was it Slane again? It was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, after after that, he was he he was just book broken for, for the rest of the campaign. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, what else is there to say? I mean, the plot is not. So, w- what is the plot? Uh, uh, they oh, don't yeah. even. They 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 just start out. Uh, they just start out as. So what? Like, they just start. So the adventurers. Uh, there's a dwarf. Um, a female elf. Um. A thief, a uh, human, forty. You uh, we never get to hear what the back, what a Chuck's b- backstory is, right? Or do we? Um, other than he was in prison for something for twenty. Yeah, years. he was like in prison for twenty yeah. years. But we, we never get to know for what I think. Um, yeah, no. Um, or, or how how they meet. Um, uh, uh, yeah, that's, I think uh, yeah. it's all sort of skips over, isn't it? Um, yeah, and it, honestly, it's fine. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all all yeah. all that anyone cares about is just playing the game, really. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. So they they start out with just um. Yeah, they are already they are already a party, and it's something like oh, they are all bored of their village life or something. Um. And uh. Yeah, uh, it's the setting is uh, an island continent basically, um, and um, they're in one of in one of the kingdoms, and it's being invaded by an evil um, kingdom or something. And and uh, so one of the things which uh, the the translator. In the introduction, points out by the way. Oh, is that um, um, uh, what are they called? The the, the alignments in D and D. Um, yeah, like lawful, um, neutral, and um, good, yeah. evil. Um, yeah, and there's a like chaotic, uh, neutral, neutral, and yeah, yeah, and um, uh, in this game, uh. And well, according to the, to, the, to the translator, this means this says something about the Japanese or whatever. Um, <laughs> in this game, uh, uh, chaotic is equal with evil, and lawful is equal um, with good. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So, so basically, lawful characters are always good, and um, chaotic um, are always like. Uh, yeah, the the gods are uh, the the, uh, the gods of order, and there's evil gods who are, who are chaotic gods. Um, and uh, but but the main villain is not really the the empire, the evil empire which is invading. In in this case, um, it's um, this um, magic user. Um, Called Carla, a, a witch, right? Yeah, she, she's called a witch. Uh, this witch, um, called Carla, who, who is uh, actually literally says that she's neutral, um, and the, basically she, what she wants to do is to try to balance uh, uh, the forces of uh, forces of uh, good and evil, or chaos and uh, and order, um, because apparently if not. Uh, 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 Lodos, which is by which by the way is the name of the um, 
of the of the island continent uh, if if there is some sort of unbalance between uh, chaos and order apparently lodos will come to to an end um, of, um yeah there will be some kind of apocalyptic event or something but uh, that what that is is never explained um i i think and in the in the anime that I, I believe that they basically are able to de- defeat the the evil empire nothing happens um right yeah um, <laughs> yeah in i mean yeah, in, in the anime like the color is defeat is quite in like the middle of the story i think um and she and she becomes a different character because um, color is like is that just the name of like of like the magical crown um and she's like you know because she like lives in like this like magical orb um and then that like possesses um woodchuck later on right um is is like kind of like the name of the like woman who's possessed or like the like or the um, actual like i don't know villain <laughs> like I, I can't quite remember but um yeah like kind like, of like, like, loses the crown um, and she turns into a different character and, and that character becomes like a love interest for slain um, which w- w- which is one of the more interesting uh, aspects of, of the um show um but but but, no, but that doesn't happen in the in this replay i mean i don't think they even like come to feed carla i think she just leaves <laughs> she, she, she just like walks off <laughs> yeah she, she just uh yeah she just leaves um like they meet meet her at uh, at at the wizard's place, um, yeah, and uh, yeah, because apparently she used to be one of the I guess the the heroes party, or you would say, uh, along with the the old wizard or whatever. Um, yeah, uh, but yeah, uh, but now she lives inside. Uh, but I think uh, they do make that. Uh, that character, which um, becomes a love interest for Pan, I, I, isn't that uh, uh, the priestess which gets um, um, possessed here? Well, like they mentioned that uh, um, while they are tra- traveling t- towards their final battle, um, it, it sort of mentioned that um, uh, Kala kid kidnapped. Um, a priestess and and it, and it is inhabiting a body at the end. Uh, it's revealed, I think. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I if I were to give this a score out of ten, mm, I mean, as a story, probably a three or a four, <laughs> but it, I would. Yeah, but it's sort it's sort of fun. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of its yeah. own thing. I mean, the story is sort of secondary. Um, really, I mean, there's like enough of a story to keep you interested, but it's it's really more about like the characters, um, all the all the players and how they like interact. You know, yeah, I'll, I'll give it like, like I think it was quite a, like an enjoyable read. It was, it was quite a short read as well. Um, or at least it went quite fast. Like I'd give it like a seven. I don't see why not. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, so, seven or five. Um, yeah. Uh, anything else to say? Um, not really. I don't think so. Do you have anything else to add? Um, and I, I don't think that they had emojis. That that's that's uh, something which the tra- fan translated. Must have added into, into into the script. Yeah. No, no. I don't think I don't oh, think they had emojis. Uh, back in the eighties, uh, in the late eighties. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Uh, because uh, he uses them a couple of times when when the players are speechless or something. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know, maybe. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. What was the... Because uh, um, there the are also, like, ancient um, emojis that, that are basically just, like, smiley faces and stuff. I, don't know. <laughs> I guess, I, yeah. get, I, I, guess yeah. I had the hieroglyphics. 
<laughs> yeah. Also, we are talking we are talking about Japan, and I think that the uh, like back in the days, um, not in the eighties, but at least in in the in the um, early two thousands to maybe the nineties, they had uh, test boards like uh, two chan. They are like they are like it's like four chan, but it's just text, and they would use um, Japanese characters uh, to uh, not necessarily draw, draw faces, but um, yeah, face, faces as well. Um, yeah, which may, maybe maybe you can't you can't translate that maybe for something like that. Um, which yes, I the, guess yeah, that, that 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 makes sense. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, not to like nitpick or anything, but I did see some like spelling errors um, in in a translation. <laughs> like so sometimes Carla yeah. would be spelled with a C instead of a K, which was a bit confusing because I thought that they were like referring to a different character. But yeah, yeah, it, it yeah, was it wasn't really that bad though. It, it wasn't that bad. I think it's happened a couple, a couple of times. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so, yeah. So basically, the way that I found this was. Uh, uh, it was translated by some guy on the RPG.net um, uh, forum. So he just translated it for basically the, just the people on, on that thread. <laughs> and yeah, so that's why right. it's there. Yeah, uh, yeah. This, is, this isn't like a like, professional translation by any means. Uh, it was it, it was something like someone did, you know, in their own spare time. Um, and yeah, and and it was totally worth it. You know, it was quite. You know, it was pretty, yeah, so, yeah. pretty good. So if if I was a a, a fan translate a, a fan translation that somebody did in their spare time of, of something that uh, some some people did in in their spare time back in the eighties <laughs> in Japan. Um, yeah. Um, so okay, let's see what. Uh, so they, yeah, basically just to see. Um, I'm just trying to remember what are the what things that they had in in, um, in the story in terms of D and D tropes. Like, so they had the dungeon, obviously. They had they had the dragon at the end, um, which it it died pretty, pretty easily. I thought. I mean, it's a one character nearly yeah. died. Uh, I found I, I I found it really funny how like Woodchuck like almost killed a dragon in like one hit because he got like a backstab off. <laughs> like this, yeah. I mean like like the backstabs are uh, were like overpowered. Like he did like forty eight damage with, with like one backstab <laughs> to the dragon. It's like oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that that would have been funny though if he actually had killed it. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, but but. Uh, Pan uh, gets to, I guess, uh, I guess, kill the hill. Uh, it did, yeah. Yeah, Pan, Pan uh, kill. yeah, and and also they all kind kind of uh, forced uh, Chuck's player to do to do uh, to do the backstab. They didn't want to do it. No. Um, well, I mean, I don't, I don't think they could have, right? Because um, they weren't um, um, thieves or something. Isn't he called like a? I don't think it was a rogue. I think he was like a thief. Um, yeah, I yeah, thief, yeah, yeah, thief. yeah, thief. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, yeah. So um, also I think uh, he, that uh, he had to wear um the athlete's shoes, right? In order, in order to be able to for for the stats to be able to um, <laughs> I get behind the dress. <laughs> Uh, which, which yeah, is yeah. kind of funny, uh, uh, because uh, Chuck is this um, tall, forty-year-old man, um, <laughs> and did it. Um, yeah, she's she's not she's not that that tall. Um, in um, it, it, she's a lot smaller here than in the anime. It, uh, I didn't think. Um, yeah. <sighs> Uh, so yeah, they had the dungeon, uh, or maybe a couple of them. They had traps. Um, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. At this time, at this point, <laughs> I'm just rambling. So let's let's end. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, I yeah. think I think I mean, the the, 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 the upon is dry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The whole thing. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I guess I guess the whole point of this stream is to say like, uh, hey, this thing exists. It has been translated. If you have yeah, a couple of yeah. hours of free time. Yeah. Uh, There's the. Uh, yeah. uh, the the link will be in the description. There you go. There's the, there's some extra work for you. Yeah. Uh, okay. So let's stop it.